So this is a um, trick to help accompany the Lenz's Law pictorial method. And so what we're gonna do is point our fingers in the direction that the before and after pictures tell us, but the change will be determined by how our hand has to change. So to start, we're gonna put our fingers in the direction that the magnetic field points. And so in this case, it points out. It changes because more magnetic fields come out, and so we're going to move our hand out with the increased change. Now, to oppose that, we need to move our hand back, which is into the page. So we know that our to oppose should be into the page. We can then use our right hand rule to determine the direction of the current. So our thumb points in and our fingers curl in the direction of the current. So in this case, they're going to cur curl clockwise and our current is clockwise. So uh, this is another example. Sometimes it's tricky to see both O's and X's in a problem, but you'll see that this hand trick actually works for this case as well. So we're going to start with our fingers pointing out because our magnetic field points out. Then we see in our after there's a magnetic field pointing in. So we move our hand back as, it's, as if it's moving into the board. And so we know to adjust and to oppose this action, we need to move our hand forward, which tells us that the to oppose picture should have a uh, circle to de uh, denote that the magnetic field is coming out of the board. Then again, we can use our right hand rule to determine the direction of the current. So we have our thumb pointing out, current curls in the uh, direction of the fingers, and so we get a counterclockwise current in this case. So this is an example that you might encounter on a test. Uh, this is a setup where a current conducting rod slides on rails towards a resistor through a magnetic field. This generates a current because the area exposed to the magnetic field is decreasing. We can see that the hand rule that I just taught you can apply in this case as well. So we're going to start by thinking in our initial position, this before case has a lot of X's. As this rod slides down, we have less X's. So for our to oppose, we know we started with a lot into the page. Now we have less into the page, so we need more into the page in order to um, oppose this change. So that is another X. We use our right hand rule to determine the direction of the current, and we point our fingers clockwise, and that's the end of the trick.